How many rockets do you have to finagle? 16 and a half, sir. Is that enough for the hullabaloo? Isaac, go fetch another pint of gunpowder from your armory shed. Redford, pull! I saw that. How fast were you just going? Safe to death, sir. Come again? The vehicle appears to be in good working order. I'm just checking it for... Reckless cycling. Second warning. Next time I take away the keys. Bring the table to the window. Yes, Mr. Gustav. Bring the tray to the table. Right away, Mr. Gustav. Right there. Have those been brushed and blocked? Of course, Mr. Gustav. Pack them in the hat boxes. Is that from Oberstorff and Company? I believe so, Mr. Gustav. Second trunk. Who has the tickets? I do, Mr. Gustav. Give them to me. These are in order. Wait in the corner. Take a left and then to the right. Set him down. There's another batch. Help that other guy over there. Lift with your legs, not with your back. Flip it sideways. Don't uh, try to be a Superman here. All right, we got two circuits here. We got the yellow circuit and the green circuit. Let's just keep them separated. Hold it right there. Now we need to bring about 2% more in. Good, here we go. A little bit more, a little bit more. That looks good. Let's get that bottom structure really settled in. Let's bring in the side unit. Watch out, try to be careful with the branches here, guys. Don't, don't peel away the bark. Is this him? Bill Mitt, Sam Shkoski, Chief 55 Resign. He's hot, almost too hot. What's in the can? $76, but it's mostly in nickels. Give it to me. You badge in seamanship? Yes, sir. Good, there's a cold water crab or Mordoff broken rock. The skipper owes me an IOU. We'll see if he can take you on as a clog cracker. Won't be an easy life, but it's better than shock therapy. Thank you, sir. Number one, the bank want a drug screen for everyone on the crew before they forward the money. A piss test? Yes, a piss test. Two, a stooge from the bond company will be riding everywhere during the whole shoot to keep you on budget. Who's the stooge? A chap by the name of Bill Newbell. And there's not a damn thing you can do about that, Steve. Three, you must swear, legally swear, that you'll not kill that shark, or whatever it is, if it actually exists. Let's make an agreement. You okay. A, I want us to become brothers again like we used to be, and for us to find ourselves and bond with each other. Can we agree to that? Okay. Yeah. B, I want us to make this trip a spiritual journey where each of us seek the unknown and we learn about it. Can we agree to that? Sure. I guess so. C, I want us to be completely open and say yes to everything, even if it's shocking and painful. Can we agree to that? Run to the Cathedral of Santa Maria in Bruckneplatz, buy one of the plain half-length candles and take back four Klubecks and change. Light it in the sacristy, say a brief rosary, then go to Mendel's and get me a courtesan au chocolat. If there's any money left, give it to the crippled shoeshine boy. This is the island of New Penzance. 16 miles long, forested with old growth pine and maple, crisscrossed by shallow tidal creeks, Chickchaw territory. There are no paved roads, but here comes Jed with the mail. The Obiyami Way Peninsula, a remote and fascinating region teeming with extraordinary marine life. We chose its mysterious waters as the Belafonte's next destination. It is an extremely common mistake. People think the writer's imagination is always at work, that he's constantly inventing an endless supply of incidents and episodes, that he simply dreams up his stories out of thin air. In point of fact, the opposite is true. Walt Boggess is a chicken farmer, probably the most successful in the world. He weighs the same as a young rhinoceros. He eats three chickens every day for breakfast, lunch, supper, and dessert. That's 12 in total per diem. Where are they going again? I'm gonna go work on a shrimper if I understand correctly. I wish them well. Me too. Me too. Experience. Hotel Kinski, kitchen boy, six months. Hotel Berlitz, mop and broom boy, three months. Before that, I was a skillet scrubber. Experience in the zero. Do you think I'm an athlete? What are you talking about? Well, you know, I think I'm an athlete, and sometimes I feel like you guys don't see me that way. What's the subtext here? Is he praying? I think that's yoga. Why do you consider me your enemy? <laughs> because your girlfriend stabbed me in the back with lefty scissors. Have you seen the pastry girl with a package under her arm in the last minute and a half? Yep. She just got on the elevator with Mr. Dragal from Texas. Thank you. Can I see? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Who are you? Otto, sir. The new lobby boy. Well, you haven't been trained properly, Otto. Lobby boy never provides information of that kind. You're a stone wall. Understood? I must say, I'm pleased to be invited, but I'm not sure I should be doing this, Uncle Foxy. Why not? Because I don't like to be dishonest with people. Well, just keep your mouth shut and it won't be a problem. Yeah, but I don't think you should come with us either. We're not taking a boat.